the accessibility of social rights in our in my community is you know it's there it's accessible but the thing is that um, uh, the flow of information is just not good enough uh, for instance we got the internet we got you know some places where you could you know uh, see uh, you know about this uh, social rights, about the trainings of social rights, about uh, even programs like this. But the thing is, there is just not enough, uh, uh, you know, approach to local NGOs, to local um, schools, to local uh, community workers that they could spread this word around about uh, social, about the the social rights and about the what I said before. So um, I think we should uh, be, you know, doing more uh, to about that. That it should be more accessible. Mm. And what was the other part of the question? It's uh, what are the good point and the bad point of your community? Hmm. Uh, I think. In my community, uh, people are, uh, since I live in the capital, in the biggest city in, in our uh, country, I think people are quite tolerant, not all of them, but um, they're tolerant and they're very, uh, and some, there is some new hope now of, uh, you know, of the movement for the for you know uh, raising awareness of these social rights and stuff and fighting for them of course uh, so uh, Ljubljana is pretty okay but what I said the bad thing is the accessibility um, otherwise there are many N NGOs and they're working to promote uh, to promote them Our NGO has been uh, around for about 25 years, so we already have many connections. Uh, we have connections with high schools and practice students come to our uh, organization to, you know, and then where we, that's where we uh, include them in our work, in our uh, process of work. Um, Especially, we work on their skills, uh, competencies like communicative, communicating skills, and, um, also some civil, civic skills, and also you know we just try to show them the different kinds of work that they can also do, not just the ones that are in the process of learning in their schools. Um, also. Uh, I work with uh, dropouts with youth in the neighborhood uh, where I do a project where I we are doing a project of uh, kind of revitalizing a neighborhood um, we try to approach the youth and um, provide them spaces where they could you know come talk to people talk, talk to each other or talk to uh, our uh, we have someone there employed who is always there and they could talk to him. They all, we provide them spaces where they could, you know, do whatever, like uh, we have a band playing in this, in that spaces, uh, uh, practicing, you know, and stuff like that. Um, also, in our organization we, we provide nanny service for young adults, so that they can have some free time and that's how we are connected with local communities. We, have, we make uh, workshops for 
children, for the youth, so we kind of stay in contact with, with the local community. Um, we have, of course, we have contacts with the municipality, um, uh, with uh, local cinema, uh, and many other things.